Good afternoon, fellow food detectives. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of food and deception that slips unnoticed into our lives every day. Have you ever considered that your lunches, dinners, and snacks may not be what they seem? I'm sure each of us has occasionally encountered fakes, but what if I told you that even your taste buds have been fooled? What if the food in your mouth is fake and not real food? Let's start with the yummy stuff that was very popular among Russians at the turn of the 90s and noughties. Crab sticks now, probably there are no people left who would not know that in crab sticks from the crab is only the name. But who in the late 90s carefully read the compositions on the packages? Here you are. When did you find out it was white fish meat? Tell us in the comments. And the salad of corn and crab sticks, perhaps, was then the second most popular after Olivia. By the way, they were invented in Japan back in the early 70s. About 10 years later, the USR started producing crab sticks and mermaids at the protein plant. Asparagus, this is what asparagus looks like. And what is sold in the markets and in stores next door to Korean carrot salad is not asparagus, no matter what they write on the label. In Russia, in Ukraine, in Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan, it is mistakenly called a product that has nothing to do with asparagus. In Asian countries, it is known as fuju and is a product of soy milk processing, foaming on boiling soy milk. Milk oolong just as guinea pig is neither guinea nor guinea pig, so is milk oolong neither milk nor oolong. Milk oolong is a tea of so-so quality, the unfortunate taste of which, enterprising Chinese, abundantly sprayed with smelly chemical flavoring and then exported to Russia with a completely unrealistic markup. This product is entirely made for export and is not consumed in China. The taste of such tea resembles the taste of Indian green tea with one note of flavoring throughout the tea drinking. The difference of a good Chinese tea is that its flavor changes throughout the drinking tea. No gulong in Russia makes almost a quarter of the turnover of teas, so many decent tea stores cannot resist the thirst for profit. If you have a package of milk oolong at home, we suggest that you open it, smell for the last time how it smells like trickery and throw it away, and buy good quality oolong. Or better yet, Ivan tea, it's healthier. Wasabi every Japanese restaurant in the world brings pickled ginger and wasabi along with their sushi and rolls. But the difference between real Japanese wasabi and what is served everywhere in the world is the same as the difference between real crab meat and crab sticks. Wasabi can only be found in Japan, but even there it grows under special conditions, in running water and at a temperature of 10 to 17 degrees Celsius. That is why it is so expensive and so appreciated. Three and four year old roots are used for preparation. The rhizomes of real wasabi cost more than 200 euros for one kilogram. And because wasabi is so expensive, Japanese restaurants around the world use imitations based on horseradish, spices, and food coloring. In these imitations, wasabi is either not at all or its share is below 2%. So, dear fans of Japanese cuisine, the wasabi that you have ever tasted is just ordinary decorated horseradish. Unless, of course, you made it in Japan. Cinnamon, have you ever tasted cinnamon? Real cinnamon. What do you think it looks like? Hard, dark brown sticks twisted on the side. Yes, but no. What's sold in our stores as cinnamon is actually cassia. Similar plants from the same family, but the properties are different. And when we read about the benefits of cinnamon and by cassia, we get a discrepancy. Look at the photo and remember how cinnamon should look like. It is a loose sticks of yellow or yellow-brown color, twisted from cut bark thick as a sheet of heavy paper. Salem cinnamon is very soft and breaks easily. It crumbles under minimal pressure, and the flavor of the spice is sweet. Try to find one in the stores. You're unlikely to succeed, because it's cassia that we're mostly getting, and that's what we use to think of as cinnamon. They grow in different places. Cassia is mostly China and Indonesia. Cinnamon is best Salem. Sri Lanka. That's why you have to buy cinnamon in sticks. So if you can immediately see the string in front of you, and it costs real cinnamon is many times more expensive than cassia. Cinnamon is more fragrant and tasty than cassia, and much healthier. It has up to 100 times less coumarin than cassia, which in large doses gives dizziness, headaches, 
hepatotoxic. If you constantly eat cassia in large quantities like cinnamon, you can get these side effects. Cinnamon has unique properties and it can and should be generously added to all sweet dishes. It has a favorable effect on the reproductive system, improves skin quality, lowers blood pressure. Vanilla. Vanilla is one of the most expensive spices on the world market. It is difficult to produce and difficult to grow. Outside of Mexico, the birthplace of vanilla, the plant has to be pollinated artificially to produce pods because the bees that pollinated in Mexico live only in Mexico. Therefore, buying vanilla sugar in stores at the price of 20 rubles per bag, do not expect that your buns will exude the real flavor of vanilla. Natural vanilla is sold in the form of whole pods, powder or alcohol extract containing 35% ethanol. It is even harder to find on supermarket shelves than real cinnamon. The production of natural vanilla is strongly influenced by the low cost of natural identical flavorings, mainly vanillin and ethyl vanillin. Currently, the use of natural vanilla is small due to its displacement by cheap synthetic vanillin, which cannot replicate the subtlety of real vanilla. The formula of the flavor is too complex, and with proper storage, the persistence of vanilla flavor is amazing. It is a well-known case of retaining all its properties after 36 years from the date of production. Macadamia and last on our list is macadamia nuts. What's wrong with them? You ask, are they not what they claim to be either? No, when you buy macadamia, are you really buying macadamia? But there is one but. It is unlikely that you know what the real flavor of macadamia is. Typically, you are buying nuts that have been treated with vanilla syrup. Hence that sweet, plummy chocolate flavor of the nuts. That said, most people who have tried macadamia are convinced that this is its true flavor. In fact, the artificial flavoring is very strong. It cannot be confused with the natural smell of nuts. Neither macadamia nor any other nuts can smell like vanilla. Only vanilla smells like vanilla. The shell of processed nuts tastes distinctly sweet and salty. The surface of the nuts themselves is also sweetly salty. If the macadamia is washed with water, the vanilla cream flavor becomes less pronounced, but it is impossible to remove it completely. Bananas the belief that we are getting the cheap fodder varieties is just a myth. There are many more varieties of bananas than are brought to Russia, but none of them are definitely not fed to animals. It is economically unprofitable. For example, there are bananas that are not eaten raw, they are grown only to fry. It's a popular side dish. Fried bananas in Ecuador, Honduras, and other banana republics are served instead of bread. And of course, their raw bananas are really sweet. Why don't we sometimes have them reminiscent of boiled potatoes? It's simple. There, bananas are plucked white, and for export to Russia, including them, of course, they are sent green, otherwise they cannot be delivered. After all, the journey by sea to us lasts at least three weeks. What do they do with them next? That is the most interesting thing. They ripen thanks to ethylene gas in special chambers. It's supposed to be safe, but the flavor still changes. Ethylene makes the bananas ripen too quickly, and the starch in them does not have time to turn into sugars. This is why bananas become similar in flavor to potatoes. Palm oil in Russia, instead of edible palm oil, technical oil is added to products, which can only be used to make soap. Now let's see what the difference is. Milk, cottage cheese, butter, sour cream, baby food, ice cream, sweets. In the diet of every Russian there are these products, and all of them may contain palm oil in their composition. Some of you are now thinking, so what? Developed European countries buy palm oil in large quantities, and it's okay, people live. But in Europe, food standards are strict. In Russia, the safety parameters are quite different. For example, they do not take into account the content of carcinogenic and genetically toxic substances that are formed in the process of aerophanization. And this is a direct threat to the health of Russian residents. Palm oil is obtained from the fruits of oil palms growing in the countries of Southeast Asia. The quality of the final product depends on where the crop was stored, how and in what factories it was processed. One oil will be technical 
and will be in demand only in the production of biodiesel or soap, while the other will be food grade. There are several safety parameters by which the quality of vegetable fats can be assessed. Peroxide number of glycyl ester content. The peroxide number indicates how much the product has oxidized. In simple terms, how much it has spoiled. And glycyl ethers are substances that are formed in the process of aerofining, heating, and purification. These hazardous substances are not present in the original raw material. But in order for this mass, which resembles carrot puree, to become an ingredient for food, it must be purified. And that's where glycogal esters, so dangerous to health, come in. Since 2017, the European Food Safety Authority has introduced standards for glycogal ethers. One milligram per kilogram in adult products and half a milligram in children's products. European companies have changed purification technologies and raw material requirements, and now there are practically no glycyl esters in palm oil. Russian technical regulations on palm oil simply do not take into account such safety parameters. Oil fat companies in Russia, all the research of European scientists, simply ignored. And today, we still sell palm oil with dangerous glycyl esters in our country. It contains 10 milligrams per kilogram of glycidol which is 10 times more dangerous if we talk about products for adults and 20 times more dangerous for children than in Europe. Such oil is banned in EU countries. In Russia, technical palm oil, under the guise of edible oil, is quietly sold at wholesale basis. It is used to make food products, and once in the human body, it can provoke the development of cancer. That's not a fun list. Write in the comments what deception of the list that you have not even guessed. And if the issue has given you new food for thought, evaluate it fairly, and we are already preparing the next one.